Hello, my name is Sochil Dixon. I'm sharing a story of sacrificial heroism and today's encouragement from our daily bread, Willing Savior. While driving late at night, Nicholas saw a house on fire. He parked in the driveway, rushed into the burning home, and led four children to safety. When the teenage babysitter realized one of the siblings was still inside, she told Nicholas. Without hesitation, he re-entered the inferno. Trapped on the second floor with a six-year-old girl, Nicholas broke a window. He jumped to safety with a child in his arms, just as emergency teams arrived at the scene. Choosing concern for others over himself, he rescued all the children. Nicholas demonstrated heroism by his willingness to sacrifice his safety for the sake of others. This powerful act of love reflects the kind of sacrificial love shown by another willing rescuer who gave his life to deliver us from sin and death, Jesus. Romans chapter 5 verse 6 reads, You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. The Apostle Paul emphasized that Jesus, fully God in the flesh and fully man, chose to lay his life down and pay the price for our sins, a price we could never pay on our own. Saying in verse 8, God demonstrates his own love for us in this, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. As we thank and trust Jesus, our willing Savior, He can empower us to love others sacrificially with our words and actions. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Romans chapter 5, verses 6 to 8. You see, At just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thanks for giving us everything out of the generosity of your endless love for us, including your life on the cross. Please help us love others as selflessly as you love us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.